Hi everyone, this is Vi from Sparkling Faces, and yes, I know I have paint all over my forehead. I actually uh, did halfway through a video and realized I didn't turn my camera on. So, okay, <laughs> this is going to be a re aquatic design requested by Dewey Drops 85. Okay, and I've actually used this design before. I used it at Lafette, and I thought it fit the theme that you needed, and you know, I think it's pretty. So what we're going to be doing is you're going to be using all metallic colors and I'm using Wolf Brothers and I'm using Wolf Brothers metallic white, metallic blue, and metallic green. Okay, and we're going to use the white first and what you're going to do is cover the forehead area in like a V shape going down towards the nose. I kind of have a lot of water on my brush, so it's kind of spotty, but um, you're going to be going over this with blue and green and then blending, so that doesn't really matter that it's spotty. Okay, so now with another sponge, I'm going to load with blue and green, metallic, and you're just going to randomly put blue and green spots. Okay, now once you get the spots down, we're going to go back in with the metallic white. Okay, and you're just going to blend this out a little bit more so it looks watery. And this is actually a really quick design. It's not complicated or anything so now with the sponge that you had metallic white on um, you're going to use the other side that doesn't have any paint on it and you're just going to kind of blend these edges out just a little Diamond Effects White. And I'm just going to put some dots on the design. Okay, so what you're going to do is you kind of have this line coming down across like this in a V shape. And what you're going to do is put dots around that V as if it was fading into the blue and fading into the skin. So I'll show you what I mean. You're just going to put random dots okay, and then as you go upwards you're going to spread the dots out further apart and also make them a little bit smaller and then you do the same thing downwards. Just spread them out a little bit more and make them a little bit smaller. And if you're going to be making bigger dots, once again, you want to keep the bigger dots along, along the line of the V so it looks like it's fading up and fading down. Now, if anybody else out there have, has any requests, Feel free to send me an, a private message to my inbox. Sometimes I don't look at all of my comments, 
Um, I really don't like the new layout of YouTube. It's really weird. Like, I can't see everybody's comments all at once. I have to click to different pages and stuff, so I don't really like that. So, I might not um, see your request. So just go ahead and send it to my inbox through YouTube. Okay. So, this is it. <laughs> This is my aquatic face design. Um, what I would actually do is pale out the person's skin on the bottom portion. Um, I wouldn't paint it white, just make it pale. And then glitter, of course. Okay, and in a design like this, you um, can here, I'll just do it. What you can do is dip your finger in the glitter and then make more glitter concentrate on where the dots are than throughout the rest of the face. I don't know if you can actually see that on camera, that there's more glitter on the V. but. That was a really easy design. Um, I hope you like it, and I hope it helps you out on your project.